Hello everyone, I've been told on the grapevine that it is International Talk Like a Pirate Day, so um, R. Anyway, we were trying to get everybody in there wrangled into a room to talk about pirates, but that was relatively impossible. So what we've ended up doing is getting Mike from Firelock Games and Ben from Foreground into a room, lock the door, and they're going to talk about some pirate facts. No, no, no. He's not a pirate at all. No. Is John Paul Jones. Okay. I know you British guys think he's, he's a, a pirate. He's got a locker. No, hey, that's Davy James. I brought, I brought these guys in for a reason. Get out! No, no, no. 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 Who was, who was no. the one that is supposed to If your to... nation has n not yet become... He actually then knows more about pirates than I do. Then surely you can't have a license. Hey, that's, that's what matters... My wife giving me a license to be allowed out. She's no, no, no. See, a nation the Spanish... The she Spanish, behaves like a nation. The Spanish said we were a nation. That counts. The French, too. They gave yeah. us money, they said, yeah. here's some money. But you know what's bizarre? No, I'm not going to go down the Brexit route. Oh, that was very close. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We were talking earlier, a bit, a little bit more serious about the fact that you know everyone's, everyone's private ear was another guy's pirate, but these guys were licensed. A lot of them were licensed. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny. So I'm. For those who don't know, I'm of Cuban descent. And my grandmother. Yeah. She, she passed away a few years ago, but she, the day she died, referred to all British people as. As uh, piratas ingleses, which is English pirates, yeah. always. Yeah. If she ever mentioned them, she always had the pirate tagline. Yeah. All Englishmen are pirates. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm I'm from the west country of England, where they know us all as carrot crunchers. But of course, you know, a lot of the people from the west country mm -hmm. actually did earn a living from being licensed or then being freebooters and you know, uh, uh, pirates. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course the Spanish hypocrites, because we all, you know, we had plenty of pirates out of Cuba. And well, yeah, all over the yeah, place. Yeah. All the guardacostas, the coast guards. Yeah. I mean, I mean, in fact, actually, the south coast, the south coast um, fishermen mm -hmm. used to trade uh, Spanish uh, orange jam for for English lace, you know, Dorset buttons, and of course they called that marmalade or marmalade, and that that's how, because that was a way of preserving the Spanish uh, fruits mm -hmm. and getting them into the UK, you know. In fact, I come from a, an area very close to uh, <coughs> to uh, a, a town called Devizes, which still has the original pond where the customs guys coming past and the actual the actual guys with the contraband. They're trying to they, they used to wrap their barrels in ropes so they could rake them out. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you come over, I've got to show you this place, even though they cut half similar of it to our rope. square groupers in South Florida. Probably. We don't know what the square yeah. grouper well, is. Well, the guys they said, <laughs> "What are you doing?" And he goes, "Oh, we're trying to rake the moon because it's fallen from the sky." <laughs> and the, the custom, you know, we had that tradition of always being stupid and I think we kind of bred true with that but yeah and I think in that way in that way you know I love I love the idea of I love I love yeah I love guys who 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 are out for themselves you know you hear about slaves who make a career for themselves and that yep. kind of stuff yeah yeah and I mean we have a very famous down in South Florida yeah. our, our famous pirate was uh, Black Caesar yeah who was eventually captured with Blackbeard there's a lot of legend around and it's hard to know if it's actually true but escaped he was supposedly yeah. some African prince yeah he escaped and then he was eventually he pretended to be a shipwrecked sailor on on Elliot Key right off of Biscayne Bay which is just east, uh, just uh well, east of Miami, yeah. and then um, trying to get the perspective of where I'm at, make sure you guys understand that that's east and it works. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. I yeah. think it works anyway. anyway. Um, so he's eventually yeah. started robbing people, pretending to be shipwrecked, yeah. and then little by little builds up, gets a sloop, hides it behind the mangroves. Right? It's a cool so story though, isn't it? Hides it behind the mangroves when he, the Spanish ships would come by. He'd pump the water out to so lean out, and then at night going out and capture the ships that were anchored right off the reefs so so, so why are pirates so romantic because you know it's really quite weird because this is i mean somali pirates aren't romantic because they come from our day and age but is it because life was <coughs> life was repressive and these guys were doing their own thing or i don't know I don't think they were romantic at the time. That no, 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 no. They were time, but now, yeah, yeah, like yeah. If you read yeah. general history of the yeah. robberies and murders, but yeah. it was a big, like it was like tabloid kind of news, right? Yeah, yeah. This kind of scandal. So that's that book was popular. That's a lot of our modern interpretation of pirates comes from that, and it's all kind of romanticized and kind of like the not really romanticized, but in it was they were infamous. Right? What about like, the, wow, the Errol Flynn kind of so, yeah, movies so that, as well? I think that just starts from. Um, 
Long John Silver, yeah. right? Because in, in Treasure Island, the pirates are undoubtedly the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. But you got the character of John Silver, who's a fast, if you read the book, it's a fascinating character, super he complex. Is. He is. And you kind Very of, intelligent he becomes, man. Very right, intelligent. And then he comes across as this kind of this kind of romantic character and then that kind of builds the fascination so from there you go pirates of penzance and you've yeah, got yeah. the uh and then you've got errol flynn yeah. right i mean we're not errol flynn but yeah. <laughs> captain but, blood yeah rafael sabatini yeah yeah and then that kind of builds on that whole thing so that's the influence and he's also influenced by the buccaneering age and um you know the the exploits of like morgan and guys like that who yeah. are who are kind of heroes to you guys right and pirates well yeah us. i mean especially <laughs> because i mean the west country yeah. always actually had quite a good relationship <coughs> with south wales because you know you're talking in, a, in an age where where still sea uh sea bound vehicles go much faster than the roads i mean i don't know i'm talking about where i live now and uh, so from salisbury to bath will take you about just under an hour it would take you like at least a day or two days whereas in those days to get from say bristol or avonmouth mouth all the way over to wales which is on the other side of the estuary right. you'd do that in two hours and that was over to cardiff so there was an awful lot of traffic right. you know so it would come in on the south coast it'd be smuggled across the west country and then it would be then sent up to wales and then from wales it would be distributed everywhere and of course then you had the irish which had a gift for um private enterprise at the time as well um <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I think it's a really fascinating thing that they do. Sure. I think, I think, I love, and I love your games. Oh, right then. Bye, Lance. So, yeah. <laughs> so we had to stop it there before they ran off into another dimension, but we hope you enjoyed that little video about Pirate Facts.